Kyrie Irving and LeBron's games were born to be paired together. The ability for LeBron to, to be able to handle the ball and set up an, a, an incredible shooting guard or to hand off those duties to a great ball handler. They're both incredible isolation players. Um, if you look at who, who LeBron's won championships with, uh, Kyrie and, you know, I, I know that this isn't the guy in the same breath, but Mario Chalmers, um, Chalmers is kind of a poor man's Kyrie Irving. Um, and then you even, you even look at um, – Mo Williams, who LeBron had two 60-win teams with. Again, Mo Williams, if you actually look at his game, is kind of a poor man's Kyrie Irving. This is the type of combo guard that he is meant to be paired with. Okay, so we are looking at the face of Richard <laughs> Jefferson. Did he just call Mario Chalmers a poor man Kyrie? Even Mo he, Williams? He's talking about the game. I, I, I don't, no, I don't know. There's, nothing, no. There, there's nothing you can reference or talk about. Okay. Here's All right. the problem. Okay. Is that how poor? He's it's like <laughs> me and Bill Gates. That's that's the, like I'm a poor man's Bill Gates, right? That's what I am. Fair enough. But let, let us not allow that comparison, which you find inappropriate, to sidetrack us from the important part of the conversation, which is he is saying that Kyrie Irving is the perfect person to combine with LeBron James. I was kind of with him there. It was just the examples that he gave were so. But not only were you there, you were on the team to make sure everyone is aware. You were on the team with those guys. You won a championship with those guys. Do you see them being able to put aside whatever their differences were? I mean, when last seen, Kyrie Irving was forcing his way out of Cleveland so he didn't have to play with LeBron anymore. Can they come back together? I, I don't believe so. I, I can't speak for Kyrie. I can't speak for Braun. But I think what Kyrie wants to accomplish in his career, and you look at going to Boston, at being a, the first time being a free agent in a very long time and picking the right spot, I don't see it. I don't see him going back to Braun. You know, we all talk about narratives here and what people will say. We were talking about Kev, Kevin Durant and what he's having to deal with. I don't see Kyrie going to L.A. and just falling back in line. It will never happen. <laughs> it will never, ever, ever happen. I, can you imagine the narrative that will follow Kyrie Irving? So you have two bad seasons in Boston, one where you don't play in the playoffs to get to the finals, the next where you don't get the team to where they're, where they're supposed to go, right, with all the things set on the podium, and then the next year – you say, you know what, I'm going to go back and play with LeBron James. People will say, we knew Kyrie couldn't get it done on his own. We knew Kyrie wasn't the leader. Kyrie will not want that narrative to follow him for the rest of his career. Yeah. I, I, I wouldn't want that narrative to follow me the rest of my career. I wouldn't want it to happen. I, I, I can only go back to LeBron James to win the championship. Look at LeBron that James is the only guy. I couldn't go back and do it with a Kevin Durant. I couldn't do it with an Anthony Davis. I couldn't do it with another player. I, it only has to, no, no offense to LeBron. Yeah. I just would never see that happening with the way it went down the first time. To Kyrie win horses credit, to win horses credit, he is right. Kyrie and the way he plays, he is an elite scorer, an unstoppable scorer that you can't double team, especially if there's a Braun or, or somebody else on the. So yes, that type of score pairs up great with Braun. D Wade, him, I think is right. Will it happen? Probably not. I think Kyrie, though, he's, a, he's an independent thinker. I think the biggest thing is going to be he's going to want to go to a championship team. He's going to look at the personnel on a team, and he's going to say, okay, what, what gives me the best chance to win a championship? Mm -hmm. He's not just going to go somewhere because he has a relationship with somebody. It's going to be what, what's going to give him the best chance to win. He's on a loaded team in Boston. It may be stay in Boston. Here's what I would say, Jay Will, in response to what you said about what the narrative would be about Kyrie. I think the, narr the narrative would be that he did some very honest self-assessment and reflection and said, I'm not meant to be the primary figure on a championship team because all of the attention and all of that does not suit me well. He didn't handle it well. That's not a, 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 an opinion. It's a statement of fact. He doesn't handle that well. All of that is dealt with by LeBron if you go play with him. Their games do fit together like a hand in a glove to the point that Tibbs just made. And whether he goes to play with Kevin Durant or he goes to play with Anthony Davis or he goes to play with anybody else, he isn't going to be the primary player on that team regardless. If he's going to be the primary player on a team, we learned this year, they're not going to win a championship. So I think it would actually – I would give him all the credit in the world – if he took a couple of years in the same way that LeBron in a, a different circumstances said, you know what, I want to go back to Cleveland now. I learned what I needed to learn. I'm going back. Kyrie might say, you know what, I, I saw the grass. It's not necessarily greener over there. I'm going to go back and play with this guy because we are dynamite together. I would give him a lot of credit for doing it. I, I think, yeah, I mean, a lot of people give him a lot of credit. I, I just think that, you know, when you're at that level, 
your reality is somewhat distorted because your ego has gotten you to that level. You're talking about Kyrie. He's at the top, top of the NBA. He's gotten there due to the fact that he knows he can be special. Now, I'm not saying he can't be special with LeBron, but it was the way that Cavs breakup went down. And RJ, you were a part of it. I just, I just don't know if I see him saying, Let me ask you I'm willing to come back. Let me ask you this question, him. okay? We all watched Kyrie, and it is sometimes dangerous to assess people's level of happiness from the, from, yes. from the outside. He looked like the unhappiest person in the entire sport most of this season, right? He did not look like a man having fun. Yeah. When you played with him in Cleveland, was he having fun? At moments, yeah, at moments and at times he was. And there was other moments where, you know, there was conversations like, yo, is Kyrie all right? And it would be like some days he would walk in and Kyrie is so – has such a dynamic personality. He's so charismatic and he's just like laughing, joking. And other days it looked like there were things bothering him and he might, you know, kind of push himself, you know, away from the rest of the guys. But ultimately he was our brother. So it was like, Kyrie, if you're having a good day, bad day, whatever it is, but if you don't get that same type of, you know, community and vibe inside your locker room. We saw Terry Rozier, who is his backup, come on and say, Say, listen, I sacrifice everything. I don't want to go back there. So obviously there was a ton of tension going on inside of that locker room. It wasn't nearly as much tension in our Cleveland The winning is fun. To me, when you guys won the championship, it looked like he was having a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And so to me, you try to get into that position again. Yeah. And going to the West, the West is a different animal. Yeah. There's 14 teams that are very strong at home in the West. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy path. Mm -hmm. So the path might be easier in the East. But, 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 look, I mean, did everyone, I mean, the only one who watched what happened in Boston this year? I mean, I, <laughs> no, no one else I, see I, that? No, we all did. It was a disaster. And yeah. he but hated he, it, he, and they hated but it. But he didn't get a chance to orchestrate his own team. Like, that's the power that he has yeah, now yeah, in free agency. You know, I don't know if he's going to be able, like, again, I, I don't know if Kyrie is, is the same type of guy that's going to be like, I want to show up at a place and then have a say in the guys that are built around me because I want my own team. I don't know if Kai is that guy.